morning and welcome back to Why in the Morning. My name is Joy Mochache. We're seated here with a wonderful guest that is going to be doing um, some spoken word for us as well as we're going to get to know her a little bit more and her art a little bit more. So like you know, you can reach us and follow us on Y254 channel on Facebook and on Instagram, that is Y254 underscore channel. You can also reach us on Twitter on Y254 channel. Me, you can find me on Joy underscore Mochache. And you guys remember to subscribe and to follow all our, um, all our handles. And this is going to be uh, hashtag Y in the morning, hashtag performance, oral performance, hashtag spoken word. So our guest, Wacha Tumkaribishi, welcome. Her name is Chukwa Mike. I'm Rosen. Her name is Roseanne Jerry. She's a spoken word artist, or what they call an oral performance artist. Leo, tunataka kujua kidogo about your art. Alafu taniangalia tukiongea. Aina shida. Yeah, taniangalia tukiongea. So tunataka kuliza a few questions, if I can. What is spoken word mtu sasa anaweza kuexplain kama nini? Spoken word ni nini exactly? Okay, spoken word ni poetry. Mm -hmm. In a becomes it's like a poem mm. which is written but okay perform in a spoken word okay yeah it's a written poem mm. sasa okay perform in a spoken, spoken word, word. Yeah. ah na sasa mtu ana perform live ama it depends it depends <laughs> yeah. okay na mimi niko nafikiria spoken word by the way siju kwa nini nafikiria it's also kama kuna wasi wana doing a freestyle ama nyinyi wote lazima muandike it depends na mentality I'm say. Like uneza anza kuandika like la like, like uneza two through words. In a depend na mwenye anafanya. Like come in mezo ya tu kuandika and then na rehearse mm. and then later I perform. Yes. Okay. Ah yeah. Sasa nkuliza umekua kifanya miaka ngapi? Uh, spoken word lilianza um, 2013. Okay. I was inspired by my my dad's my my mom after Ali pass. Ah, pole. And then, so I only really inspire. Actually, I didn't know I was doing spoken word until I saw Mufasa kwa the trend. Alafu chanya liko na perform na pieces zenye ni meandika ni kwa na I is it is navanana. And so I decided like I can also do it. Mm. Like I can perform it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Even though sasa you can answer. Uh, even though you can Alafu sasa ulianza peke yako ama was it, did you start maybe with some friends? Was it like in a group type of situation or hini kitu mikuwa kifanya we peke yako? Uh, nilianza peke yangu. Uh, the journey has been tough kwa sababu mostly uh, mabeshtu wangu wakuwa na mini can write. Like walikuwa na sema, ah, wewe tu wezi. Ebu niambia juu ya yu kudogo. The first time niliandika, I was form one. And then... Nilikuwa naishi na brother angu. So every, each and every time alikuwa na niona, naandika, naandika. Walikuwa like, unaandika nini badalo usome. Oh, okay. Sa shule, nilikuwa naandikia watu poem. And then alikuwa na niambia, hizi poem ni zako, amu unakopi kwa book. Mm. As in, walikuwa tuwa na nienda estimate. I decided to write and write and write. Mm. Until sai, mm. they believe in me. Now they believe in you. Yeah. So ni poa uko askia? Ah, uh, siku askia. Uh, uh. Na sayi wanasema aje? <laughs> sayi wako proud. Do they finally accept? <laughs> no, wama chezo maswali. Uh, sayi wako proud. Mm. And because wakini ambia niandike stuff, I write. Wasipo niambia pay right. Like I write then na wasurprise. Mm. Wako like uliandika lini. Sasa wana follow up. Mm. Utandika next nini when are you performing? Okay. Mm. Na familia yako je kama ma siblings hivi? Um, <laughs> family yangu, like, how do you sana kusu spoken word? But I stay with my aunt, auntie yangu wame ni support sana. Alikuwa na ni pia fair na in the places, like, alikuwa na ni support too sana. Uh, sibling yenye niko now, ni my cousins, mm. na pia walikuwa so supportive. In terms of kuni market, wanasema, yes, sister yangu anafanya spoken word and, mm. yeah. Na sasa, hii jani yako ya spoken word, mm. vile umesema in the beginning ya ikuwa raisi, kuna experience ya watu ungependa kushare about how your journey has been. Maybe some of the difficult experiences, even some of the best experiences, things like that. 
Uh, spoken word si rahisi kwa sababu sa zingine unaweza itwa kwa show au lipi hope you feel like ah, how to appreciate eh hey, nilianza for free like kwenda pal poetry after lunch pale national theater and then nikaenda gala nikaenda two places eh hey, okay. gala live nikaenda two places mob lakini i was doing it for free cuz ni passion ilikuwa tu ndani like i had to do it mm. eh yeah. Na sasa, in fact, you've brought up something I, I wanted to bring up later on. Lakini, naona here in your profile that kuna a few places ume perform, mm. which I, if I can bring it up, huh? kama yoni sawa. Mavoko open mic, ume, pia, ume, ume kwa tu. By the way, the gala live. Na sikianga tu yo kit, sometimes naonanga photos kwa magazina. Naona, wow, this thing looks so fly. Uli perform hapo? Uh, gala live, wana perform like, nime perform for two shows yeah. not three i guess and your gala imeni saidia tu sana aje sasa like wameni push uh, kwa kwa rehearsal say inaweza say i'm confident nilikuwa shy girl siko naweza ku express but gala imeni saidia sana uh, eh you were shy eh i was very shy mm. in fact nilikuwa too depressed mm. uh, i was under depression cause of many pressures mm. like Unajua kuishi bila mzazi venye tu ni pressure. Of course. And that is when you understand the essence of your parents when they are still alive. Like kuna vitu tu mob you are going through and nobody is there to understand you. Mm. Isipokuwa tu mama yako. Mm. Mm. Okay. And anyway, you know pole sana about that and I'm sure kuna my youth pia yeah. uh, hana hiyo confidence yeah. ya ku speak in the open. Yeah. How does one get that confidence? of speaking in front of people na just see kilamtu anaweza fanya hivyo by the way uh, like confident to nearly gain from friends they say show me a friend and they'll tell the kind of person you are like my friends are so confident and pia wani poets most most of your friends are most poets most of my friends are poets mm. uh, sasa as in how ndo alikuwa anani push through ah you can do it mm. uh, sa nikaanza tu hivyo and then okay. nika develop some confidence of which nilikuwa na perform kwa parade kwa siu uh, mm. mm. towards the end nataka nitakuuliza u perform ka kitu kidogo and but so. before we get to that still i'd like to bring up some places you've performed um i'm seeing you wearing a shirt which is written at east hub and i also see that same same name here on your profile at east hub this christmas hii sasa ilikuwa anga nini na mbona ume mpaka umevaa shati <laughs> it looks like a, it means something to you uh, uh, uh -huh. artist hub it's a poetry platform uh, nyenye ina deal na upcoming artist mm. sasa nili perform the first time i performed it was on christmas on 12 uh, i'm not sure about the date but you know really ili nisaidia tu sana cuz i met so many people uh, okay. and at this hub sign you kwa club kwa organization okay. like we deal with so it's an organization it's an organization mm -hmm. hosted by poeta dennis hosted by brighter days yeah uh, i don't know if you know him what's brighter days poeta dennis oh poeta dennis poeta dennis we uh, know skia brighter days eh sasa as in endo host wa club and ana push to map coming artist Either you sing, you do poetry, la, rap, mm. or anything, and not push to. Uh, um, so your organization, kazi yake ni kusaidia upcoming artists, uh, kama nyenye sasa. Uh, okay. Yeah, sawa, sawa. Well, I hope mutendelea tu. Yeah, tutendelea. Naona hapa, besides art, kuna kitu nafanya. You're an entrepreneur at Shuja. Shula. I like the way it's spelled. Shuja line. Yeah, I love how it's spelled. <laughs> it's spelled like shu, yani kiatu, yeah. na kuja. Shuja. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, yo um I sell shoes. Okay. Shuja Shuja ni mwenye hi organization. Mm -hmm. Ya yeah, artist hub. Okay. Uh ako na shoe line of which I sell online. Of yes. which you sell online. I sell online. Okay. Yes. Online. Sawa sawa. Na hiyo sasa umepo kufanya how long? Um June Maliza last year exams. Like Nil Maliza KCSE last year so Sisana sijaka sana nilianza December. Hey, 
a busy lady and then on top of that to nafanya kazi pia yeah i love tena he is easy in his spoken word i like ladies who keep themselves busy <laughs> thank That's you it's very good mm. so now i have to ask a very important question e at your spoken word unaona unaona ngani kama iko na impact on youth na kama unaona hivyo hiyo impact ni gani like spoken word iko na impact cuz um ukiongea okay, kuhusu society uh. like what youth are going through like for example kwa pieces zangu i talk about my experience so nikiongea kuhusu experience zangu mm. na kuna dem ako huko nje pia ana undergo <coughs> what i i'm going through mm. so it's like i'm speaking a word to that lady mwenye hana hiyo voice ya ku speak up mm. about her story okay so ni kama you speak for the voiceless yes ah, okay. exactly ni poa hiyo ni poa generally ni topics gani una is it confined to a particular topic ama um it, topic topically na ongea kuhusu nini uh gender like gender uh, like okay. gender equality gender equality uh, kuna domestic violation domestic violence domestic uh, domestic violence and depression depression loneliness love loneliness love uh, kuna wow. tu mob <laughs> uh, vitu vitu za life eh uh, uh, vitu vitu za life oh, aya yeah. we're about to close down the show but before we close down the show please tell our viewers your social media handles and immediately after that i want you to give them a small taste of what you do um facebook you can find me at rosen jerry jerry instagram jerry 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 uh instagram rosen jerry twitter bado eh <laughs> 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 email bado um whatsapp bado uh, <laughs> eh okay. so, so. well the floor is yours madam you can feel comfortable this moment um unataka um, keti unaza keti by the way yeah, it's fine so trust and obey there is no other way to be happy in jesus but to trust and obey These were the words that she frequently had to mention as she sat down with fear and dreadful emotions emotions that threatened to expose the truth that she once knew but chose to forget the truth about chastity purity and holiness these virtues once described her a soft spoken religious girl who was known for her charm but now this girl is dead and all which was pure turned to dirt Her soul was printed black she she was once a saint that embraced the good biblical teaching love your neighbors and do no harm to others she had been raised in a self environment her parents were pastors who raised her with a lot of innocence but now she lives in a different world world full of pimps drugs and thugs she saw the world so different away from her younger self and love for her neighbor turned to hate and in her eyes everyone deserved to pay So she sang to herself her favorite church hymn Trust and obey for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey What an irony in these words was there hope the musicality from her singing was so soft and gentle but different from reality she needed a fix a sniff to calm her nerves she was dirty and a full order came from her mouth hand and her body she was homeless living and sleeping in street corners she needed a joint she needed it right now hadila had it red her skin was itching and her eyes turned brown and in all this broken state she remembered it all she remembered her uncle head of choir how he pimped her on the hallway wall how he forced himself within the church corridors how painful his dress felt how pain was magnified from the skin to the core of her bones a wolf in sheep's clothing the pain was real the hurting on an extreme not only did he break her private part but also her soul a soul where jesus once lived but now she's condemned with the seed of her uncle in her womb to kill or to be at the seed of a devil and when she ran away she found a new world a world of quick fixes hallucinations and fake realities a world of its own heaven a world of packs of food that not pretend to be in sheep's clothing and now hadila had arrived her skin was itching and her baby was kicking she smiled these quick fixes gave her some little joy 
and this one had to be a boy. She still hoped that, though the boy will be born addicted to drugs, it will find a self place far away from her uncle. So trust and obey. There is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey forgotten truth. Roseanne. That was amazing. Thank you. Wow, you've touched on a lot. Thank you. That was drugs. That was, mm. that was so much. That was heavy. Thank and you. I'm sure it's actually reached out to someone. I'm sure you may go some to Koinje. Mm. So if that has happened, remember you can reach her on. Say your social media handle again. Please. Uh, Facebook, Rosane Jerry Jerry. Instagram, Rosane Jerry. Ah, yeah. mm. So you guys have heard that. This has been our guest for Spoken Word. My name is Joy Mochache. Remember, you can always find us and say what you feel about what you've heard today on Facebook, uh, Y254 channel, on YouTube. You can watch this again. You can listen to that poem again on YouTube that is on Y254 channel as well. And remember to subscribe. Instagram, Y254 underscore channel. And you can find me at Joy underscore Mochache. So have a wonderful morning. Next upcoming is Hilda Wadidi with Youth and Politics.